Hi everyone, welcome to our kitchen again. I'm glad to see you all. Um, today we have a pretty dinner to prepare for you guys. We are going to be doing some lamb chops and some garlic roasted potatoes and roast, roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, hope you guys checked out my last video. We made some Italian subs and no baked tiramisu. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for being here. So first we're going to get these potatoes going in the oven because they take the longest. Um, so we just have these baby potatoes and we're going to season them up in this big bowl. We're just going to do some simple seasoning. We're going to drizzle some olive oil, about an eighth of a cup or so. teaspoon of salt and pepper each. I've freshly ground the black pepper but you can use already ground. And just a, about a half a teaspoon of ground garlic powder. Real easy seasoning. Toss it around. Make sure they're all coated. Gonna use this handy roasting tray here that I've lined with some parchment paper so make sure nothing sticks. Parchment paper is the, the one thing that I will absolutely have to have in the kitchen. <laughs> Just make sure they're all on an even layer. And we're gonna roast these at 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes. Once we got the potatoes going, we're going to get our Brussels sprouts going. I'm making a mess. You're cooking. <laughs> Some Brussels sprouts here. And my cutting board. These are pretty big. I like to cut the ends off and I'm going to have them. Let me put them on shot. here. Hang on. <laughs> and cut the end off. Yep. And then cut them in half. Okay. I'm going to shake this tape. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these all in half, put them on this roasting tray that I've also lined with parchment. It works. Yes, I love parchment paper. That's the one we were looking for. <laughs> Last one, we're gonna cut in half, get it on the tray. And all these little ends and pieces right here that we're not gonna cook, we're gonna give to our chickens back. They'll love munching on them. And so with these, we're just gonna simply drizzle with some olive oil. Just a drizzle of olive oil? Yeah. And some salt. You can do pepper. Do a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to use my hands and kind of toss them. Make sure there's oil on all of them. Where did we get this recipe from? Do you remember who? Mm -hmm. Actually, Jake, right? Yeah. My and friend Jake. Jake and we hadn't had fresh Brussels sprouts in a long time, and then he made them, and we've loved them ever since. So, okay. Shout out, Jake. Yes. I'm gonna spread them out kind of evenly, and then we're also gonna get these in the oven with the potatoes, and they'll roast also for about 20 to 25 minutes at 375. So our potatoes and Brussels sprouts are almost done roasting, so we're gonna start cooking our lamb chops. First, we wanna get our pan going and heat it up about medium high and I'm going to give them all salt and pepper on each side. I'm 
it's smelling good, y'all. More salt and pepper on this side. So to our pan that's been heating up for a few minutes, we're going to add some olive oil. And about a teaspoon and a half or two of butter. Let that heat up for a few moments. Start searing our pork chops, or not pork chops, sorry guys, lamb chops. Mm. <laughs> Some kind of chop. Wait a minute, we're going to do about two minutes on one side, and flip them, and then do three minutes on the other. garlic cloves that I'm not going to peel. I want to leave them with the peel on them. So we're going to just add them into the oil to give some more flavor, but I'm going to crush them slightly so that some of that flavor comes out. And I'm also going to add this little sprig of rosemary from our garden. And I'm just going to put it in the side over here. And it's just going to start flavoring the oil. And we're going to kind of bake the second side of the lamb top with, with the oil and butter once we turn them over. Okay, so I'm going to give these a flip. Do about three minutes on this side. Smelling good. Now we're going to take some of this that has the garlic and the rosemary coming in. Just baste a little on the side. Mm -hmm. Let them cook for a few minutes on this side. So we got the last of our lamb chops ready here. I'm going to plate them on here so that they can rest for a few moments. flavored oil and butter and just kind of pour it over top of here. Flavor. Flavor. And we got our Brussels sprouts out of the oven. We're going to put them in the dish. crispy one. It's my favorite. <laughs> I like potato chips. <laughs> so let's get our potatoes out. Mm -hmm. I can hear them. They're having a party. <laughs> oh yeah. And the 
everybody has more fun than we are. And we're gonna go ahead and get those onto this platter. It smells so good. Too We've got everything ready here. Our roasted potatoes and Brussels sprouts and our lamb chops have been sitting for a few minutes. So we're just gonna put a few potatoes on here. Just get a big one. They were screaming earlier. They were. They sound good. They smell really good. They do. A little scoop of our Brussels sprouts here. Our little lamb chops. Okay, guys, here we have it our roasted baby potatoes, roasted Brussels sprouts, and our lamb chops. Okay, guys, so we have all of our dinner prepared and I made a simple little dessert. Um, I baked this almond flour sponge cake with just vanilla in it. You can also buy an already made sponge cake or angel food cake at your bakery section. Um, and so we're just going to cut a little piece off of here. And then I have some fresh strawberries that I chopped and put about a tablespoon of sugar on them and let them sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so. So they got some strawberry juices running in it. Put this on top. Some heavy whipping cream that I whipped with vanilla and a little, about a teaspoon of sugar. Not too sweet. Homemade? Yes, we whipped it up. And I will put um, this recipe and all the instructions in detail on the in the description. Take some of this strawberry juice and drizzle it all around. And there you guys have it. Here is our dinner and our dessert. And thank you so much for watching.